Hey guys, I'm Lance. Welcome to my channel. And I am doing a floating cup, a cell activated floating cup, and I did one on my last video. Um, but what you saw there, that kind of mess that you saw, <laughs> was a failed bloom. And so I decided to layer my cup like a cell activated flip cup, uh, floating cup. And so I popped the top. I put my cell activator in there and did all my layers and I popped the top and then I um, moved it around and as you can see I got much more beautiful shapes, cells and cell formations and um, then I'm going to swipe a bit with my white and try to create um, kind of like a beautiful fall colored background was my, um, that was my game plan. And as you can see here, those colors are beautiful. That fire opal is really beautiful, that coppery, fiery color. And I love kind of that um, aquamarine blue that was in there as well. Now, I decided I was going to embellish this pour when it was dried with a snowbird. And how I'm going to do that snowbird is like the video that I have, I'll put a link to it that I did at the collab with Tiffany Remind about. The easier way to do the Tanya Munt technique um, with, I'm using my silicone mat there. And I was just tracing, well I wasn't tracing actually, I was just freehand drawing a snowbird and I just did a quick little drawing and then I'm using the snowbird drawing, I'm using my drawing that I put on tracing paper to be on the painting so I can kind of position it where I want it. And then I'm putting my silicone mat over that so that I can now build my glue gun outline on the silicone mat and then pop it off the silicone mat when I'm done and get ready to spray it with spray adhesive and put it back onto the canvas. So I'm showing you here now how I'm using two different glue guns. One is a larger 0.4 diameter, uh, takes a 0.4 diameter glue gun stick and then this is the mini the mini stick and they're different types of gold one is like a bronze gold and one is like a true gold and I just thought it was kind of a neat combination to use and as you can see here yes this is sped up <laughs> it is not that easy to do super duper fast but for time you know issues here with having a video I didn't want the video to be too terribly long some of the things that I do will do in real time so that you can kind of see how they need to be done but uh, I wanted to get this, you know, obviously to show you the gist of what I'm doing. And I love how that 0.4 diameter does the, the little twig, the little branch. It really creates the, a really neat effect of the little branch for the little snowbird to perch on. And there you see I'm making berries on the silicone mat as well. And we're going to use those a little bit later. And I am painting with a little bit of black mixed with... Uh, the fire opal and shading my tree branch so I want to create um, the look of the tree branch and so that's the dark part of what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna highlight that with some gold and I'm making some little branches off of that so you see me doing this here and that's so that I'll have some place to put the little berries that I've created that I want to use to embellish the painting as well Now this technique is similar to Tanya Munt's technique, but like I said, it doesn't use the glass and it doesn't use razor blades. Um, I'm kind of clumsy with those things and I don't want to cut myself. So <laughs> Tiffany and I brainstormed and we came up with this idea and I really like doing it because I can put that silicone mat on my piece and see exactly where things need to go. And I can create these things as though I was creating it on the canvas. But just in case, you know, there's something you mess up, you are not locked into having glued something onto your canvas right away. And then you can put spray adhesive on the back of these when you take them off of your silicone mat and then position them where you need them on your piece and you've got exactly what you want. Um, and so it's kind of like this, this video though, isn't truly just like Tanya Muntz. There's a little bit of things that I do that are similar to some things that I've seen AB Creative do. And I love watching her videos as well. And I thought this is like a really fun 
kind of cool piece that you might want to try for yourself with your pores with the holiday season coming up because it makes kind of like a really nice, um, just a nice piece that is kind of mixed media um, with your pores. So it's something different and something unusual. And I have a uh, craft show coming up soon that I'm going to be taking uh, some paintings to. And I thought these actually might do pretty well. And I thought the snowbird was kind of a cute little theme. And uh, I love kind of the whole fall motif that this uh, piece ends up having. Now, the pour that you saw me doing earlier is one that I did. Um, I was inspired by Gail Burson doing her floating cup with cell activator. And uh, you can see a more complete video of that. And I will leave an end card here so you can go to that link and see if you're interested in doing that. It gives you a little bit more detail on how to do that. Um, but I thought this was going to be um, a nice piece. I know that that type of a pour gives you a lot of interesting shapes and cell formations and I thought this would make an interesting background uh, for something fall oriented with these uh, beautiful fall colors. And I also have a collaboration with Gail, a one-to-one -one collaboration with Gail on the 12th, Wednesday the 12th of October. So be on the lookout for that, and I'll have the times for that soon. And there is also the color art collaboration coming up soon, and that is October 16th, Sunday, October 16th. So be on the lookout for that as well. It's gonna be a wonderful collaboration with amazing artists using color art products, so you don't wanna miss that. Plus there's a $400 shopping spree, the grand prize that will be given away along with 16 other mini prizes that you will be able to receive just by following along and commenting with each of the artists you'll be you get 16 chances to get a prize if you leave a comment on the 16 artists participating each of those 16 channel prizes will be a 50 dollars value so yeah you you want to like not miss out on that and you, you see me here using the pipette and the putting the paint in the channels of the glue gun outline. Now, you don't have to be too concerned. As you see here, it looks like I'm making a big old mess. Um, my design is pretty intricate, and so you don't have to be too concerned about getting any spillage. Um, you can go back and wipe it off with a wet paper towel. And in the end, you can go back also and hit your high lines with, in this case, it's uh, Decoart Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold that I'm using and that I'm highlighting the glue gun outline with. And so, yeah, you don't have to be too careful. You can go back and clean it up. And I purposely was kind of being a little bit messy just to kind of show you. You can clean it up. It will look great in the end. Um, the color that I did the snowbird's head and the bottom underneath side of his body is the prism pour mother of pearl and it's really really beautiful and pretty and I was trying to give it some kind of brush strokes that kind of give it the feeling of feathers and I'm also trying to what's kind of cool is I'm using the different colors within the channels of the glue gun outline and I'm creating my color and with a little bit of texture too. You can see kind of the lines that I'm running through it with the black and this kind of champagne color and it's, it's giving me the effect that I want. And uh, this is just really fun. I mean, I think this is something that you should definitely try for yourself. I I am going to leave the links to the things that I use in my box, um, the glue guns that I use, and the mini sticks of the gold that I use. I've had people ask about that, and um, yeah, it's just it's a fun technique. And like I said, I think it's with the holidays coming up. I think it's definitely one that you know you maybe want to give a try, create something special maybe for a friend. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a fun, relaxing technique. And here you see I'm using the little gems that you can get in Hobby Lobby or 
Michaels and they have an adhesive backing but I'm putting some PVA glue on the back and just putting a little dot on there but then I decide to I'm just gonna dot it where I want it on the bird's head um, it's white anyway so it's really not gonna matter <laughs> and so I do that and put and then you can just put your your little bead down as the eye and it makes a cute little eye for the bird and I'm trying to do these things to keep it simple. The object of this is to kind of keep it simple. Like I did my outline freehand and just kind of created it. But you can go online to places like Etsy and find stained glass um, outlines, line drawings that you could make your glue gun outline for this technique. Because this really is kind of like a stained glass uh, glue gun technique. And, uh, but there's a lot of different ways to do these things and I just am trying to keep this one really simple. And I also found these leaves on Amazon and they're like a uh, Chinese red maple leaf, but I thought they were beautiful for this kind of holiday, you know, fall themed looking piece that I'm trying to create. And so I'm putting my Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold on here. I'm using um, some of my parchment paper to just paint it. You have to be a little careful though because these leaves can really break um, if you kind of get too rough with it. Um, but yeah, I thought that would make kind of just a pretty addition to this. We'll put some leaves on our branches and I think it, it really does create kind of like a stunning effect like these little leaves are just sprouting off the branches and helping to create our fun little fall scene. Now, if you're enjoying this video, finding it informative or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new content. Well, I hope you're enjoying this fall-themed painting. And I used, like I said earlier, the Prism Poor Mother of Pearl. And I also used a really beautiful color called Scarab Beetle in my pour as one of the colors in my cell activated flip cup. And I really love what those did to the painting. Like the Mother Pearl looks really beautiful on the snowbird. And the Scarab Beetle did some really interesting things within the pour. And I am a color art affiliate. You can use my code Lance Travis 622 and get 20% off your entire purchase. Uh, you get the 20% off and it helps my channel as well. And I hope that you've enjoyed this painting and maybe this is something that you might want to explore as well. I think it's a really great way for you to take one of your pores and create an even more special and unique piece from it. Thank you for joining us again this week for Perspectives and Pouring. And up after me will be Sheldon of Shell Rock Art. And following Sheldon will be Britta Clayton of Britt Clayton Design. And I know it's going to be a great lineup of videos. I'll leave links in my description box so you can check them all out. I just want to say thank you for hanging out with me in this fun snowbird glue gun art painting piece. And I hope it inspires you to maybe try it for yourself. And please keep in touch and comment with me. I'd love to hear about it if you do something and share what you've done. And I can't wait until I see you again real soon for some more fun pouring together.